Hey everyone, it's Becky. Um, I just have a design team project finally to show you guys. Um, I just made some cards. I'm in um, some swaps with some people on YouTube and um, I'm just making the card. I decided to do that like almost some of the first projects that I start because I'm kind of bad with um, with making cards and I don't know, my, my mojo's kind of went away for a minute. Um, I don't know if it has to do with my schedule getting flipped again with my kids going back to school. I don't know. But anyway, so I decided to go ahead and do the cards and, and get them done. So um, the first one I made was um, out of the Prima Delight, the new Prima Delight paper. And then the second one, of course, is out of the romance novel. Um, the romance novel is going with... Um, that box that I made um, for I think it's the video a couple of videos before this one and so the person that I'm making for I'm using the romance novel like kind of as the theme but I know this is a little bit darker and a little bit grandier than than the box but I think it'll be okay so um, I think I'll just start with this one and I just made them on the corrugated cards you can get at Michael's and um, I just took well first off I took and tried to um, put stencil with some I don't have it here it's the shimmers dazzlers I think and it's the sandy no the sponge sugar and it didn't quite work out because it fell down into like the little dips so um, I just took a stamp and stamped over it, and then I took some um, Prima, I think it's the Old Rose, or yeah, the Chalk Edgers, the Prima Chalk Edgers, the Old Rose, and I just kind of went over the whole corrugated where it was going to show, and then um, I took this paper and distressed it, I don't know, you can kind of see a little bit of the texture a little bit, and then, you know, just where it was open. And then down here and then I took this paper which is the flower and like the diamonds and I distressed it and then I wet the edges um, kind of like Miranda does and there's a card tutorial for I think it was not shimmers but um, another design team that she was on that she used to do tutorials for and I don't remember the name but um, anyways, she does. She shows you like how she did that with like the water and the edges and heat tool and stuff. So that's what I did on this. And then I ripped it and folded it back. And then I took the new Prima stamps. Um, I don't have them right here. Maybe I do. Hold on. Um, it was these new ones, and I believe it was. I did this one, and I this one. And I just stamped the back of the paper because this is the 6x6. Six six, and um, so it's blank on the back. So I just took a stamp just so it wasn't just white that you could see. And um, then I just took a piece of another piece of the romance novel where it says personal telegram. And I just stressed that. And then I went around it with um, black soot. And I went around this one too, sorry. And... Then this behind here is um, what some Prima buttons came on. And so I cut it out and I got that idea from Miranda too, which is Miss Liberty 25. And I just stuck that in there. And then here's another piece of the romance novel that has the, the finger and then some script. And it's just a little strip. So I just decided to make a pocket out of it. And then I made this like little tag out of the 6x6 six six, and it says for you. And I just stressed that as well and I just decided to stick that in there. And so it actually just sits like that. Um, and then this is a bicycle from Craft Supplies 1. As well as this trim right here. Let's see if I can get it to bring up a little bit. I know it's really black. Um, so this is like the ruffled like pleated organza that she has and it's one of the new ones and it's not very wide probably about an inch and then it has some satin going down the middle and then this is just some seam binding I tightened a bow and put on there with um, 
little bling button you can get from Craft Supplies 1 2, and I stuck that in there with some of that um, eyelash trim behind it. And then these charms I dangled from um, the back of the bow, I actually attached it to the to the back of the bow with um, a jump ring. And then I attached this key and this little clock from Craft Supplies 1. And so that's what I did there. And then um, all the flowers are from Craft Supplies 1. And then this is that new pearl spray and it's like uh, got a little bit of bigger pearls on it. And so I just kind of stuck it in here and there. And then this is uh, one of those wood pieces from Michael's that everybody was getting when it was like 25 cents I think. And I don't know, you can kind of see it. I didn't do the back. <laughs> Whoops, and, oh well. And I just put some texture paint over it, and then I took some of the old rose um, chalk ink and went over it just here and there. And then I just put the flowers on top, and these are the new, um, they're fabric flowers, but they're like kind of hard. I don't know, like they've been dipped in something. And it's just the edges, so it just makes them like stiff, like they don't move, like you can't form them or anything very good. So I stuck that. There's one right there, and then there's one, and then this is the black. I think these are an inch and a half roses from Craft Supplies One, and I just took off some of the petals so it make more of a rosebud. I know you can't really see it. Sorry, my light. Mm. And then this is a little rosebud. It's kind of got a little bit of peach, peachy pink on the end. And this is a small calla lilies. And then this is a cream. And then these are the two tone cream. And it's like a mm, dark, like it's almost like that dusty rose, um, the chalk, the chalk edges. But that's what it reminds me of. But I really like them. And then this is a pink half inch flower and I just um, turned the paper and I actually I don't know if you can get a very good view but right there and it's the one with like the flowers and I just took and cut a corner off of it and then I glued it on the back of corner of this paper and then I just rolled it so that's what I did there so that's this card and then here's the inside I haven't wrote anything yet, and I just did a filigree from Craft Supplies 1, and I just did a halfback pearl in the middle, and I just stressed the edges, and I um, used black soot, so that's where I'm going to write, and that's what I did on the inside, and then on this one, um, I did the Prima Delight, and I this is actually cut out from the paper, and um, what I did, let me grab the lace really quick. Um, what I did is kind of the same thing on the other one. I took the piece of um, the background paper, which is actually the back of this. And I don't know if you can see it that well, the pattern on it. But it's kind of like a peachy pink. And so I used that as the background. And then I took this lace right here. And this is from Craft Supplies 1. And it's really wide. So what I did is I cut it right about here. And then um, I actually took it and like folded it so it was, you know, a shorter piece. So I cut it and then um, right where the seam is, I just put this lace, which I got from Christina in our swap, and I double layered it. And I was going to leave some so you could see it, but I forgot. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I just took that lace and I double layered it. Um, and put it over the seam so you couldn't really see it, but I just kind of, I guess, shortened this lace. So I used that as a background. And then this is another piece of lace from Craft Supplies 1. Um, let's see if I can get a good view. I don't know if I have it right at hand. I don't think I do. Um, and then I just took some of this halfback pearl trim from Craft Supplies 1 and went around the edge. I actually stuck this, glued this, behind the picture and then did this on top. I did distress the edges of the picture and I used old rose um, on the edges. I love my chalk ink as you can tell. <laughs> 
And then this um, is, I just, from the paper, and I just fussy cut it out. And I pop dotted it with the, the dots. And they're actually pretty, um, like, they don't go nowhere. You can't, I tried to peel it off because I misplaced one of the dots and it started taking everything else up with it. So I ended up having to leave it. And then I just took some seam binding that I had and tied it in a bow at the bottom of like the little feather and the flower just to kind of make it look like um, that it was real, I guess. And then it has a little clock there. And then I just did this little token charm. It's a Tim Holtz. And it says moments. And then um, up here, I actually still have it. I'm going to show you. It's one of the big flowers. And what I did is I cut it. So I just cut like the very tip of it off with my, uh, with a razor knife. Um, a brand, I put a brand new blade in and cut it. And then I held it and I glued the bottom. I wrapped glue, hot glue around the bottom so it all stayed. And then I stuck it there. Um, and then I put leaves around it. And these leaves are just from my stash. Um, and then what I put some more of the little pearl spray and this is the smaller ones that she has. And then everything else is from Craft Supplies 1 except for these two are from my stash. These are like the curly flowers that she has and some more pearl sprays and another pink flower. And these are like the latex dipped ones um, that you can kind of bend and form to what you want. And I kind of just stuck that in, I cut it and stuck it in there just to I thought it went well. And then there's some more of the two-tone flowers and a cream flower. And so that's what I kind of, um, on the rose though, um, the, like the outer rose petals that didn't really stick, I just took some more glue and glued them down and kind of formed them the way that I wanted them to. So I think it kind of turned out really well. And then, um, I think that's it. Um, I did go around it with the chalk edgers, the old rose. Um, the corrugated, so anything that you could see, you know, showing through. So that's pretty much what I did for this one. And then this, I just put this in there, and this is a cutout from Becky when I did my swap. Um, Becky Long. And I'm just going to put my message there. It wasn't, I guess, really intended for, you know, decorative purposes. I didn't do a whole lot. And then there's the back. I just stuck my name on there. I've kind of been forgetting to do that to my stuff. So anyways, um, that's my DT projects. I hope you guys like them. If you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them below. And I believe today um, is the last day for this sale, which is 30% off in both stores. So if you haven't picked anything up, um, I would head on over there because today's the last chance for it. And... Um, I guess I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully I'll have another DT project for you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.